as usual. Um, I'm going to change the four coil seals. So this left hand side one uh, is leaking, the gate has gone a bit baggy. So let's start. Right, take my waterproofs off. Right, the handlebars have to come off, so I'll, I'll put something over my tank. There you go, I just took that off the bed. Not really, almost. Right, I'll start by uh, taking the front wheel out. Right, I've got me side stand chocked up yeah there's that gate it's just gone a bit soft compared to this one right i want the front cable off so the first thing i'm going to do is only just the uh, brake lever and then only just sit out the uh, brake drum right i've slackened the uh, cable off at the lever i find the plug oh, remove the plug I'm going to adjust it at the uh, hubs, one there and one at the front here. Anti-clockwise, as far as it will go. Same with the bottom one. Oh. Right, off as it will go. <coughs> Just crack off the spindle nuts. Right, I've only done the adjusters in the hub. Undone this adjuster. Pull the cable out of the handlebar. Disconnect it. Get as much slack cable as you can, and then it will push out. That nibble. A little hooky bit of wire. And push that nipple out from the back. And disconnect the cable. And then crack off the spindle nuts. bracket nut bolt thing right I've got the front wheel out now with the front mud guard off four bolts to one each fork leg my case these are seven sixteenths span size anyway right, four bolts out Mud guard off. There we go. Right, if you check the steel and head bearings, you just rotate the handlebars. You can feel if they're gritty or not. And then just pull backwards and forwards on them. And you can feel them clicking. That's alright. Be careful you don't pull it off the jack. Yeah, they seem alright then. Right, now I want the handlebars off. There's two nuts under here, that's one, and that's the other one. Nine sixteenths, man. Turn your handlebars to the one side, and you can get it from the side, and the same on the other side. Right, I've got the two uh, handlebar clamp bolts off the bottom ewer, top ewer. Just disconnect my cable. 
The handlebars should move at least. It's amazing what a little squirt will do. Make him out and flick him somewhere without pulling all your wires off. Says me. Right, now to slacken me uh, fork top nuts. Right, I'll put it against the steel and stop. See if I can get this undone. Against the steel and stop. Support it. There we go. Now I have slugs in these when I put the knob leads on. I uh, put some slugs, they're about, well, I don't know, hinging a bit long when I wash it. Just give us a bit more space at the front end. It's not bad actually. I'll have to measure my springs. <laughs> they're probably three inches short. So these pong out that I get to get in with these and slugs in like. the washer try not to drop your clocks right bucket to drop the springs in lift them out probably run out I'll have to get some new springs I'll put some progression ones in oh, well, they're about the same length ish I'm going to drain the oil out. Just to say that I haven't done it yet. Right, drain the oil out, folks. Just make sure the screws are clean. Just give them a scrape inside. Phillips screws these on, man. Cut the taps with the screwdriver. Make sure it's a good fit. Shouldn't be that tight, really. It'll probably take a week to drip out. And the same on the other side. There we go, right there though. Oh, it'll take a week to come out. So I'm going to cheat, I'm just going to drop the legs off. Right, I've actually managed to undo these. As the forks haven't been off, the damper rods will be stuck. So I've actually got the screws out without putting the tool in the top. So I can chop the gaiters now. Uh, I'll chop the clips off. And, oh, there it is. Where's the oil? Get stuck, so I'm just gonna like, get the get the prize that off. I could actually cut this off, it doesn't really matter. I've got a couple of new ones. I think they're up in this fourth leg. Should drop off. And there she is. One fork leg. Now to see if the seals are the right ones. Hope so. It hasn't been leaking much. I expected that to be full of oil. I'm changing these seals and I didn't need to. <laughs> oh well. 
and they slide off nice.